Hi everyone, I'm Mayang from 482 Interactive, your digital and creative partner from Sydney, Australia. Our BTS series or behind the scenes podcast series will cover everything you need to know about our 482 Interactive as a company, its partner, amazing journey and team. I'm now joined by Rob and Paul, the CEO and um, Tech Director of 482 Interactive, live at the Studio Villa in Bali, Indonesia. So before we begin talking about all main topics, I just wanted to say welcome to Bali, guys. Thank you, Maya, and great to be here. Thanks, Maya. Yeah, great to be here. Well, before we came, the weather forecast said it was going to rain every single day, but luckily, since we've got here, it's been pretty good. There's been a few big downpours, but they happened at times that we weren't doing anything, which was great. Um, it's been really great to meet the entire team. Um, we've managed to fit in some great social activities with great food um, and some team building um, activities. We've had the ability to shoot at each other in paintball and we've been driving all train vehicles around. Um, it's, for me, the best thing has been able to observe the team and how much unity there is. Uh, something you don't really get um, a sense of through a team's chat. So the, the most important, I think, is that we give um, the company and everyone a purpose. And they're all driving in the right uh, direction and in the same direction. Um, and inclusivity is really important as well. It's great to see so many people this week in, in Bali. Um, we've been together and a lot of the team members. It's the I mean, first time for me to meet pretty much everyone. Um, and, but also the first time for a lot of people especially those traveling in from Jakarta and, and other areas to meet the Bali team as well. So I think it's been a, a great week from that point of view. Um, and also then that gives opportunity to build trust, which is another key key part of you know, building culture, uh, keeping culture going. Um, and you know, we've talked a lot about this week about you know, our five core values, which um, you know, responsibility or accountability is definitely one of them and that goes hand in hand with the flexibility we give our team to be able to work remotely from wherever they are um, so you know that that's obviously a big thing as well it's not just about skills it's about um, you know, people in the right mindset um, and that builds yeah I mean team bonding is probably the the core to all of this and as Paul mentioned you know we've had some great um, team activities um, in paintball and ATV but actually just spending time together um, talking to each other the dinners and having those smaller sessions that we had in the week department by the department so you know, everyone can you know meet each other and talk to each other um, you know outside of that you know delivering projects or the working side of things um, I think the clear communications is another is another key thing that we have to focus on. We all use Teams, we have regular calls, um, but I think sometimes you know doing it in person is is obviously a much better thing to do. Um, and also, excuse me a second. Um, also to have continued um, improvements and continued learning. So it was great to see a lot of people sharing their knowledge with each other, the development team sharing knowledge amongst developers, um, QA team sharing. Uh, knowledge amongst and also myself and Paul sharing our knowledge with the team as well and getting some great feedback so that's a really key part and you know at 42 Interactive not only do we you know we we push that continual improvement we actually give everyone the opportunity you know once a week to spend a time dedicated you know proper time on training and then every quarter you know we get together and share our knowledge so that's to me is probably the most important thing that we do. So that kind of goes back to open communication. Um, you need to be able to get feedback from people and you need that trust and that open and honest environment where if you're doing things that um, you know, people aren't enjoying or they don't want to do, then you need to get that feedback. So we regularly have you know, company sessions, but we also have one-on-one -on -one sessions where people, they may have something more personal that they want to discuss with Paul or myself or Danny, uh, depending which team you're in. So we, we make sure that those doors are open all the time, anytime for people who want to discuss 
both work issues and personal issues. Um, that's that's a key thing. And we, we do measure um, and we're trying to measure more because the other way of building culture is making sure that you reward and recognize those teams and those individuals that do amazing work. Um, and if you don't measure it, then how can you tell? I think the first thing is to develop a digital strategy, which involves embracing new technologies, um, building, building a digital culture, investing in digital talent, and then fostering uh, partnerships with companies like 42 Interactive. So I think some of the challenges that companies face is um, an organization can have some resistance to change basically. You know, a lot of people may think that their job's going to change, they're going to lose their job and so there can be some resistance in the organization about that. And it kind of links into the, the digital skills. If the organization doesn't have the, uh, the people in there with the relevant digital skills or enough digital uh, skills, then that can be a challenge. I mean, 42 Interactive kind of help teams um, get those digital skills and help sort of guide, but some organizations will just basically block uh, moving ahead with digital transformation. Um, and then the other area is if a, an organization has a significant investment in uh, already technology or systems, you know, the legacy uh, software that may be around or the legacy systems, you know, can be a challenge to integrate into uh, new systems. Uh, we've done that various times, so we can kind of help organizations with that. But I suppose the number one thing, uh, which is the biggest pushback, is sometimes is on the cost. Digital transformation isn't cheap, um, so you do need to make sure you've got the right kind of investment um, to meet your goals, um, as well as the right kind of team behind you. Yeah, for startups, for me, it's all about defining your core values and, and goals, and then finding the right people that share those values and goals. Um, Along the way, celebrating successes, uh, leading by example, which again comes back to finding the right people, you need leaders. And then also providing opportunities for growth through a fun and safe environment. No, just great to be here and uh, I'm looking forward to coming back again very soon. Thanks very much. Thanks, bye. So that's it for this episode. Please look forward for our next episode. Bye. For more information about our services, please visit our website and other social media channels. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Bye!